everybody what's going on so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a few clips together Christopher and myself he is off for spring breaks all right so what originally started as spring break Christopher is not allowed to go back to school because of the coronavirus so we're gonna put some clips together we're gonna title it coronavirus Fishing, fishing quarantine. quarantine. Christopher and I are going to take our fishing adventures. Right now we're at the neighborhood pond. No big deal. We were out here. Were we here the other day? We were at the other pond. We are at the other pond the other day. And you can watch those clips right here. Oh! Dang it! There was a fish on. Look! No, he pulled it all the way down. He felt good too, man. He felt like a big one. See if I can catch him. He's like on this drop. Or he was. Oh my goodness. He pulled the tail and started swimming with it. So he didn't give me a chance to try to set the hook, you know? Dang, that was a good one. That guy felt really good. Man, I can't believe I missed that guy. I can't believe he didn't have it. He pulled and just took off straight down. So, so I could cross his path again and give him a bite. There he goes. There he goes. Got him that time. Oh. Oh. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's a gooder. I see? I can't see. Put your rod down. Do you know what type of fish you are? Yeah, it's a bass. It's a largemouth bass. Same kind of you caught. So I caught him on that. See, Open your that. mouth. Open your mouth. That's it. Oh! <laughs> He's, he used to make me jump. He made it easier. See, so we got him on the right there. Texas Frankenstein Tac 40 H2 Express. I'm glad he hit a second time. Yep. Put your finger in his so mouth. That's so gone. Look how big that mouth yep, is. Got him right in there. That's why it's called a large, large mouth. Whew. He slid down the gills. You don't want to do that. A little bit of blood. This guy's going to be okay to make it. Got him right in the side of the mouth. So we're going to let him go. There he goes. Yeah. One of the downfalls about fishing out here is that there's not a soft bank. So I can't, you know, you can't, if you, if you have a fish that struggles, you can't get down there to make sure that you revive them. Um, that's why I just try to get them back in as fast as I can when I'm fishing out here. Because the last thing I want to do is, is hurt a fish or, or anything like that. But that's good, you know, that's a fun little bass. We came out here for got a Texas rig working that Texas Frankenstein recast again. Get this guy set back up, Christopher. Yeah. Uh, that's where they are. Cut another guy, came right off Texas all water fishing lure. Got him again. Got that worm going. He is a wacko. He came right out. That's a little baby. Oh, look, somebody bit him. Somebody Wait, bit him right I, there. I, I can't. I didn't see. Right there. I still can't see. Well, Chris, oh, I can't break my wrist. Right there. Oh, right there. Somebody That's... bit him. Little guy. Let him go. And he's off to see the wizard. Trying to get away. 
Christopher just crushed it. That's on a creature bait, Texas Frankenstein creature bait. That's the first fish caught on a creature bait. That is awesome. This young man right here. Ah. Put your hand in there, you gotta hold him hard. You gotta hold him like we're all over him right there. Put your rod down. I can't. Put your rod down. Maybe hit the water. No, they're like grasses from us picking them up. That's awesome. Look at that. Beast mode. And I just said it too. I just caught it. I said last cast. All right, so I just checked the audio on that. The audio was terrible. But this is what Christopher caught it with. This is a creature bait. Texas all water fishing creature bait. You can find them on Pond Hopper Nation's website. On that side of the bait, you have a watermelon and on with red flakes and on this side of the bait you have that classic black with silver flakes this is the first bait that's actually caught this is the first fish that actually caught with this bait and chris is this your first fish you ever caught with the lure on a lure yes i think it's the first one i i keep um getting a lot of fish on like um on real bay and real shrimp and now i finally got one on a real lure on a real lure and it's my and it's my own dad's that's right. So, how did you feel when you first, when that first, when that fish first bit? Um, surprise! I I thought I was not gonna catch anything because because I knew it was our last cast. Yeah, that's right. We said it was our last cast, right? Before mm -hmm. we took off. And on your last cast, you caught a fish. Mm -hmm. High five! That is super cool. And it was a large mouth bass. Awesome. You on spring break with your beast mode? Yep. All right. All right. So high five. We're gonna, we're gonna take off. We're gonna go to the house. So we're out of here, Christopher tearing it up caught the biggest fish of the day and the first you want to catch it on a creature bait it's a creature bait this is very he's, unique he's and, an amputee and he lost a, a he, leg he or arm whatever these things are but yeah but we're out here at the neighborhood pond today we're probably gonna try to get some watching him he's practicing his cast he's getting pretty good oh the pressure of the camera but anyway we're out we're out here today at the neighborhood pond and then we're gonna probably try to do squeeze in a little bit of saltwater fishing maybe hit tech city dike maybe hit seawall park maybe hit at a couple of un undisclosed locations that we can't let the public know about some friends of ours might let us fish on their property so we're going to do some of that kind of fishing um really just get him outside he has his school work he's doing his school work on the computer and he's reads non-stop all the time every day just he's just a bookworm and we've been doing his training and his conditioning like we normally do minus the school life that's the only thing and i get a lot more time with them so that's pretty cool well we're gonna squeeze fishing in here and there right now middle of the late morning so we're gonna squeeze this in before he starts his school work so stay tuned and hopefully you catch us hooking up all right but thanks thanks for coming back oh there you go get him get him up get him up keep coming Keep coming. Got stop backing up. Don't back up anymore. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer to the bank. There you go. Keep coming. Hold it up. <laughs> a cat fish. There you go. That's a dirty one, man. Yay. Good job. This is actually my little one. I too. That's all I did last time. That's all I did last time. Pick it up and set the hook. Set it. Set the hook. Pop it. There you go. I feel it. Yep. I see it. It broke. 
We keep going. I, I don't feel it anymore. You lost them, huh? Yep, your line broke. There's a fish swimming around with a cool piercing. All the chicks will think he's real cool. <laughs> the line is all frayed from that catfish earlier. So it gave out as the line gave out at its weakest point. So 